Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to show you how to work with the new Google Forms. So a couple of weeks ago, a big gigantic update came out, and now you have some greatly expanded um, themes. So what you're going to do first is make a form, and then you're going to go into the Change Theme button. It's going to be up here in the top left-hand corner. And once we get to the Change Theme, you're going to be able to see uh, a lot of themes that have been added in. So for example, um, here's one right here called Farm Life. Uh, really cute. Here's one Forks and Knives for maybe a dinner party. So there are all different kinds of themes in here, but they're really beautiful thing about that is that you don't even have to use um, the themes that they've built. You can customize them however you want. So for this example we're going to use this Cars and Trucks um, theme and then we're going to customize the whole thing and make it look exactly how we want it to. So the first thing that you're going to do is select your default theme, the one that you want to start with, and then you're going to go to the Customize button that's right below that theme. So let me go back there so I make sure that you see it. So I'm going to click on Cars and Trucks, and then right underneath I'm going to click on Customize. Now we're going to put in a custom header image. Well, what I did in this example is make a custom header in PowerPoint. So you could also do this in Google Slides if you don't have PowerPoint um, or if you just prefer the fonts that are in Google Slides. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is a, um, a header that I worked on today. It consists of a white box in the background. So this that I've got highlighted right now is just a white box and then it has a text box on top of that. Um, it has some text up here at the top that I've colored and selected a, a font for and then some more text down here at the bottom. Now this is the thing that, that makes PowerPoint a little bit easier than doing this in slides. When I slide over both of those elements right there, I can get my mouse um, in a place where it's a four-headed mouse. I can right-click and I can do Save as Picture. And when I do that, I don't get the whole slide. So I can just call it header or whatever, save it to my desktop. And then when I open that up, it's um, got a you know whatever background I've selected which in this case was the white background and you can see I need to move my um, my white box up a little bit so if you don't have the white box in there in the background then the background of that would be transparent so um, so you'll just have to play around with that again you can do the same exact technique in um, Google Slides uh, except that you will have to crop that image when you get done alright so I think you get the point there um, we're going to make some sort of a header image that we're going to use to replace this. So now let's go back to our Google form and let's go into the header image and let's choose change image. Well first of all you want to notice that there are lots of really beautiful images in here that you can just click on and then select um, or you can upload your very own image. So I'm going to drag and drop the header image that we just worked on into that space and you can see how nicely it goes in there. You don't even really have to worry about the exact width or anything like that because it has this fit to width button. So it works really nicely. And these are all pretty obvious. You can go in here and change the font and the color, the size, you know, everything on each of these elements. Let's take a look now at the page background. So all these are, I think, are going to be pretty self-explanatory to you, but I really like this one. So now in our page background, we can go and we can upload an image here if we want or choose a URL. So let's look at how to do this with the URL. Um, I'm going to look for repeating pattern wallpaper um, in a Google image search and I'm going to find a new image to put there in the background. And I actually found one I really liked earlier that is uh, black and white and repeated very nicely. So you can use your Google image search tools here. So I'm going to go to the search tools and choose color and I'm going to choose black and let's see if I can pull that to the front pretty easily. So you just go and find an image you want and I'm going to find one that doesn't have a watermark um, that I like and since this is going to be internal only to my district I'm not going to worry too terribly much about copyright on the image. But if you are worried about that you can always go to the usage rights and you can find labeled for reuse or any of these. So I'm going to look now at ones that are labeled for reuse and see if I can find anything there. 
So this is the background that I used earlier today that I really liked. Now I'm going to go ahead and click through to this image so that I can get the URL. So I'm going to go to view image right here and now I'm going to copy this URL and go back to my form and choose by URL and paste the URL in. So now when I select that my background pattern is going to change to match that lovely image. So um, you can see how through playing with these tools I can really make my form look however I want. I'm going to show you my finished product now. So this is the actual form that I've been working on today and you can see that I changed the font and the colors and lots of different elements of this form to make it look exactly like I wanted. So I hope you enjoyed that. I think these new form features are really fantastic. Shout out to the, the Google team who made these updates. It's something we've been waiting for for a long time. So I hope you enjoyed that and learned something new today. If you have tips or tricks that I didn't share related to this topic, please share them in the comments to this video. I would really appreciate it. Thanks and have a great day.